How to reasonably discipline a child is a parent's individual choice. But the role of smacking has for generations been a source of fierce debate. I don't think it did my children any harm. No, I don't agree with battering or anything, but a smack, it's good. It can, it can. What do you think about it? I don't like it. You don't like it? No. Would you smack your children? No. Personally, I would want to be teaching my kid good ways of solving their problems yeah. and setting a good example in that. So. Yeah, I agree. If, if my child sees me using violence, then they're going to think it's okay to use violence. Were you smacked growing up? Um, I remember it as a, a bad memory. I mean, it wasn't a particularly hard smack, but it was it frightened me. I didn't like it. So, yeah. yeah. Is that your mum or dad? Uh, both. They might be watching this. They might be, yeah. <laughs> well, shame on them. <laughs> Smacking is currently permitted across the UK. Parents in England and Wales are allowed to use what's referred to as reasonable punishment. In Northern Ireland, smacking can be justified as reasonable chastisement. Scotland lets parents smack if it's deemed justifiable assault, but a smacking ban bill has today been published to remove this as a defence. The proposal has been criticised for being too vague and unenforceable, so I spoke to the MSP who wrote it. The confusing thing for many parents is they don't know what that means. I mean, they could be criminalised for slapping their child's hand when they're about to put their fingers in a toaster. And why would you slap a hand, a child's hand when they're going to put their fingers in a toaster? Would that not be an instinctive reaction to stop your, your child? This, this idea of a short, sharp shock? Um, this idea of a loving smack has no place, it makes no sense. That's the sort of offensive language that's been associated in the past with, for instance, domestic violence. This smacking ban could be the law in Scotland before the end of the year. That will mean it goes from being a proposal from politicians on paper to being something that is enforced on every parent in Scotland. Peter Smith, ITV News, Glasgow.